Everyone's talking about AI search, but two names keep coming up in every conversation I have, U.com and Perplexity. I've been testing both for months now, and honestly, they're trying to solve the same problem in completely different ways. The question isn't which one has better AI, it's which one actually fits how you work. Let me break this down for you. Let's start with you.com because this one surprised me. When I first heard about it, I thought it was just another chat GPT rapper trying to ride the AI wave. I was completely wrong. You.com is basically what would happen if Google search had a baby with chat GPT and then gave it steroids. It's not trying to replace your search engine. It's trying to become your entire research workflow. Here's what actually makes you.com different. Instead of just giving you one AI response, it gives you what they call modes. You've got smart mode, which is like having a conversation with someone who's really good at Google. Then there's genius mode, which digs deeper and gives you more comprehensive answers. Research mode is where things get interesting. This thing will literally create research reports for you, complete with sources and citations. And honestly, the quality is pretty impressive. But here's where you.com gets weird, and I mean that in a good way. They have creative mode, which can generate images, and code mode for programming questions. It's like they couldn't decide what they wanted to be, so they just decided to be everything. Now, normally I'd say that's a red flag. Jack of all trades, master of none, right? But somehow it actually works here. The interface feels like a hybrid between a search engine and a chat app. You type your question, and instead of getting 10 blue links, you get a conversational response with sources embedded naturally. What I really appreciate is that it doesn't try to hide where the information is coming from. Every claim has a little citation, and you can click through to the original source if you want to verify something. Now let's talk pricing because this is where u.com gets interesting. The basic version is completely free and it's actually pretty generous. You get unlimited access to smart mode, which handles probably 80% of what most people need. But if you want the premium modes, genius, research, creative, you're looking at UPro, which runs about $20 a month. That's positioned right between ChatGPT Plus and some of the more expensive AI tools. The thing is, most users seem to love the free tier. I've been testing it with people who aren't tech nerds, and they consistently prefer it to regular Google for research tasks. The biggest complaint I hear is that it can be slower than traditional search, especially when you just want a quick, factual answer. <sighs> Sometimes you just want to know what time a store closes, you know? Here's what nobody tells you about you.com though. It's actually better for complex questions than simple ones. If you're researching a topic for work, planning a trip, or trying to understand something complicated, it shines. But if you just wanna find a phone number or check the weather, it's overkill. Now let's talk about perplexity because this is where things get really interesting. Perplexity took a completely different approach. Instead of trying to be everything to everyone, they focused on one thing, being the best possible answer engine. And honestly, they might have nailed it. Perplexity feels like what search should have evolved into. You ask a question, and instead of getting a list of websites to click through, you get a direct answer with sources clearly cited. But here's what makes it special. The sources aren't just thrown in there. They're integrated intelligently. You can see exactly which part of the answer comes from which source. The interface is clean, almost minimalist. It looks like a chat app, but it behaves like a research assistant. I've been using it for everything from settling arguments with friends to doing actual work research, and the quality is consistently impressive. The AI doesn't just summarize the first few search results. It actually synthesizes information from multiple sources to give you a complete picture. What really sets perplexity apart is how it handles follow-up questions. You can have a real conversation with it drilling down into topics, asking for clarification, requesting more sources. It maintains context throughout the conversation, so you're not starting from scratch with each question. This is huge for research workflows. The free version of Perplexity is surprisingly robust. You get access to the core functionality, and honestly, it might be all you need. But here's where it gets tricky. The free version has usage limits. You can run up against them pretty quickly if you're doing heavy research. The pro version is $20 a month, same as UPro but you get unlimited queries, access to different AI models, and the ability to upload files for analysis. Here's what surprised me about Perplexity users. They're incredibly loyal. <laughs> Once people start using it, they tend to stick with it. 
The biggest praise I hear is about accuracy and source quality. People trust the answers they get, which is honestly rare in the AI space right now. The main complaint is that it can sometimes be too focused. If you want creative or brainstorming help, it's not really built for that. But here's where Perplexity gets really smart. They've started adding specialized modes. There's a focus mode for academic research, another for news, even one that searches specifically through Reddit discussions. It's like they're slowly expanding their capabilities without losing their core identity. <clears throat> Let's be real about the differences here. U.com is trying to be your all-in-one AI workspace. It wants to replace not just your search engine, but your writing assistant, your image generator, your coding helper. It's ambitious, maybe overly so, but it actually pulls it off pretty well. The trade-off is complexity. There are a lot of features to learn. And sometimes you just want a simple answer to a simple question. Perplexity is laser focused on being the best possible answer engine. It does one thing, finding and synthesizing information, and it does it really well. The trade-off is that if you need other AI capabilities, you're going to need other tools. Here's my honest take after months of testing both. If you're someone who does a lot of research, writes reports, or needs AI for multiple different tasks, U.com might be worth the learning curve. The ability to switch between research mode and creative mode in the same interface is genuinely useful. Plus, the free tier is generous enough that you can really test it out before committing. But if you just want the best possible search experience, if you're tired of clicking through 10 different websites to get a complete answer to your question, perplexity is probably your answer. It's more focused, more reliable, and frankly, more trustworthy when it comes to factual information. The pricing is basically identical, so that's not really a deciding factor. Both offer solid free tiers, both charge 20 bucks for premium features. The real question is whether you want a Swiss Army knife or a really good knife. There's one more thing to consider though, and this might be controversial, but I think Perplexity has better long-term prospects. They've carved out a clear niche and they're executing on it really well. U.com is impressive, but trying to be everything to everyone is a tough business model in the long run. That said, right now, today, both of these tools are genuinely useful. I find myself using Perplexity for quick research and fact-checking, and U.com when I need to dive deep into a topic, or when I need multiple types of AI assistance in the same session. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here, or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.